Greetings, everyone. I come to you from sunny California, where it's raining like Niagara Falls outside right now. Today, I would like to do a public service announcement to all of the 50-year-old men and women, maybe even 40-year-olds. At some point, we have to stop playing Russian roulette with our physical and mental health. And it's not just a PSA for you. It's a note to self, to me. We have to get away from the there's always tomorrow approach when it comes to taking care of our physical health. Or are you someone like me who has received my doctorates from Google University? Men walking around, refusing to have their prostates checked, they'll say something like, it's too invasive. I can't have that done. But then they'll want you to somehow take it up the road anyway. And I say, it's no more invasive than having your JJ exposed in stirrups. As the doctor says, come down a little more. Scooch down a little more. Scooch down until your privates are in his nose. Now that's invasive. As some of you may know, this year has been garbage for me, both physically and mentally. I have seen more doctors this year than I have within the last two years combined. So much so that when I went to see my surgeon on Saturday, the news he gave me was so devastating to me. All I could do was just laugh. The doctor looked at me and he said, I've never experienced that type of a reaction. And I told him, I said, well, that's because you haven't seen my year. All jokes aside, now you may be able to cure the common cold or flu at home, but for those life changing services, we really have to take control of our health and go and see a doctor. You can't do colonoscopies at home. You can't do mammograms at home. You can't do physicals at home. You have to go and see a doctor at least once a year. Just get everything checked out so you won't fall apart. Last year, I went and I had a complete physical colonoscopy, scheduled surgery for my knee, just getting everything in order. Now, let's get on with the topic that brought me here today. Ten years ago, I had a torn meniscus in my left knee and my right knee. At that time, I had my left knee done, and I was going to put off my right knee until I was stable enough to get the knee fixed. I put it off until I could not stand the pain anymore about six years ago and went in to have the meniscus tear repaired. I scheduled myself a surgery and voila, the surgeon came and said, sorry, we can't operate. Your blood sugar is too high. So now six years later, I have my blood sugar regulated and now I'm prepared to go in for surgery. And I am looking forward to getting back to life. I went in this past Saturday to meet the surgeon and to do all the nice pleasantries and so on and so forth. Sat down, he pulled up my x-ray. He said, ma'am, he said, when you were here before, he said, you had a meniscus tear. He said, now you need a complete knee replacement. He said, you are now bone on bone. Shocked but not surprised because my knees sound like crumbling crackers every time I bend my knee or walk. 
He then went on to tell me about the lifetime restrictions I would have with my new bionic knee. He said, I can no longer jump rope. It's a good thing I haven't done that in about 20 years. No worries there. I can no longer roller skate. Well, I wasn't good at that in my teens, so no worries there. I can no longer spread it wide and drop it low like I did back in my 20s. No worries there. I can no longer golf. Now, since I've only done that once when I was drunk, so no worries there. I won't be able to dance off of tables and chairs anymore. No worries there. I won't be able to stand for long periods of time and do my job of baking. Hmm. Now we're starting to have some problems. I cannot drive the car that I love so much for four whole weeks. Now I just want to scream. You're killing me, Larry. By the time I left his office, this was about all I could do. All of my mental and physical woes this year has been a result of just pure procrastination. I tried to bring a little light humor to this video, but I do encourage everyone, please don't put off tomorrow what you need to do today, and that is to get yourself checked, both physically and mentally. Blessings.